I think what's special about this four-story building here in Vancouver is uh, a number of things. So an infill building on a 25 foot wide lot in the urban city center of bustling Mount Pleasant is just a logistical challenge from a construction perspective just off the hop. Um, the fact that it's being constructed to meet passive house standards, that it's prefabricated with CLT and a number of innovations just tick every single box of complexity that you would get inside of a project. And that's what gets us out of, out of bed as a builder. Um, and so overall, it's just a, uh, a series of innovations. And uh, that has uh, led us to uh, uh, waking up in the morning and feeling excited about working on this project. One of the great benefits of mass timber and why this building was selected to be uh, mass timber is uh, one, it's fast in construction, uh, it's a quieter construction, and then think of the life cycle of this building and what we're going to do with this building 100 years from now or hopefully longer when it actually needs to be taken down and replaced with a new building. Timber is completely reusable, recyclable, and actually stores carbon if you look at that. And so comparing that to concrete from an environmental impact perspective is such a huge benefit. Um, and there's so many other ones, including biophilia, biophilic design, the connectivity to wood, being in this office space and working inside of a natural environment. Uh, this is just something that's special and one of my favorite parts about wood. Yeah, some of the barriers to mass timber use, certainly in the urban city centers, is just the length of time and bureaucracy and, and planning that needs to go into receiving a permit or at least receiving certainty. One of the things with mass timber is that we need to shift the intensity from the construction phase much earlier into the pre-construction phase to successfully execute mass timber and realize the benefits of a prefabricated structure by shortening the construction timeline, which should save a considerable amount of money. Um, so I think just more knowledge, uh, more experience, more comfort from the code standpoint and the fire standpoint, uh, and then to be able to try and create a bit more of a parallel or integrated process inside of the permit application pro, uh, protocols. And uh, it's just very challenging and you can't commit to starting the prefab process, which needs to start very early. You can't commit to that until you have certainty from the municipality. And I think that's one of the major barriers we face here. For sure, I think like the way moving forward for all construction projects, we've experienced several of them now, is an integrated design process where all the key players at the table, at the beginning, the objectives are clear, and then we need to drive this with a digital engine using virtual construction. And that will give us, that'll be the catalyst to successful prefabricated buildings and able to use that technology to create coordination to reduce class, to reduce change orders, and really it's a relationship change in the industry and getting all the people on the same page versus the thinkers and the doers with a line down the middle. Um, and so I believe that uh, BIM and VDC is the catalyst to be able to achieve that success and create certainty and risk mitigation for owners.